What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Underground Forum. Now, in this episode, we're going to be reviewing some fountain pen ink. Now, Noodler's ink has, is well known. Everyone loves Noodler's. But there is one that's difficult to find, and it's the Nikita Red. Why? It's a beautiful shade of red. I'll show you now as I'm writing it. And it even comes with a free Noodler's fountain pen. So this ink itself is not easy to find. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below of two places you can hopefully find it. It's almost always sold out. I got lucky one night. I was just online. Like, hey, look, it's available. I'll check it out. I've always wanted this ink, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, so let's get to it. So I bought the big bottle because the big bottle comes with a free fountain pen, and I knew I loved the ink before, so I just went ahead and bought this big um, 4.5 ounce um, eyedropper model, meaning such that when you open it, um, it's an actual eyedropper inside. Um, and this is the free fountain pen that you get with it. It's, it just says Noodlers here. Um, it's it's plasticky. It's cheap. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, and but it's a it's an eyedropper model. So you open this up. There that is. Here's the nib. And it just let me read it. It says on the left side. Um, excuse me. On the right side, it says Ink Company. Okay, and look, sorry. Left side it says Noodlers. Right side it says Ink Company. It just says that's the name. It's a generic nib. Doesn't even say the size of it. Um, and here in plastic, it says Noodlers Ink. If you can see it there. Okay, and how you go about refilling this, I'll show you now. You just go ahead and unscrew this top component that contains the nib and the grip. Okay, you put that aside, you take up some ink, go ahead and squeeze, just put it here, you see, and just put it in there, put this back in the bottle. Boom, easy. So this is why it's called an eyedropper fountain pen, because we used an eyedropper, uh -huh, right here, to fill it. Oh my god, this is so creative naming. <laughs> Alright, sorry. And you just screw it right back in. It's as simple as that. How long did that take? No time at all. Was it a big mess? Is my white paper all red and dirty? No. So fountain pens are easy to um, refill, completely messless. Uh, my hands are dirty from getting old fountain pens and cleaning them and refilling other ones but um that's just because i was just doing maintenance and there you go the, okay so it is a cheap fountain pen and it's free so one shall they not complain right well okay as you see i just filled it up and if i were to start writing look nothing happens so i've noticed what i had to do with this pen is kind of just like tap it like this on the top for like a little bit do some movement like this and it usually helps it get going okay it's a little bit weird why you need to kind of do this, but there you go. And now we got it going. Oh, it's a little bit scratchy still. So, it's a free fountain pen, and really, you kind of need, but once you get it going, I really have to say, okay, there you go. Now that I got a little bit of drop falling out, it's, now I'm hoping it works well. It does, there you go. Okay, took a couple seconds to get it going, and I made a mess here. Okay, there you go, you caught me. If you do this with the fountain pen and you make the ink just drop out, it can get a bit messy. Okay, fine, you guys win. A little bit of mess can occur every now and then. But hey, that's half the fun of having a fountain pen, right? So now that I got the ink going, let's go ahead and write something. So, it's a little bit skippy, um, and it's kind of fine. And here's my cat meowing in the background, <laughs> right? Um, and you know it's a little bit skippy but and it's a little bit of a fine tip but what I use this for given that's free you can't complain is working in slow things so if I'm just you know writing slowly it's no problem at all but if I'm writing very fast and rapidly it does feel a little bit okay, just, just listen to it Sounds a little bit scratchy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But if I write nice and slow, it's no problem at all. Right? So, depends. It's a free pen. I love this car. Look at that. Um, on the camera, it's showing a little bit more brown and orange than it truly is. And you put it on by screwing it back on, which is a good sign. Not just the clippy kind. And so there is the... Noodler's ink, Nikita Red, and it comes, there's the free Noodler's fountain pen that comes with it. 
the ink itself is more of why I bought it for. Put the ink in a good fountain pen, you're gonna love it. Um, here in person, it's a deep, rich red um, that has a little bit of darkness to it where the ink is a little thicker. The fountain pen, just use it as whatever you want. I, I use it as kind of my whatever fountain pen, um, but more for slow writing. When I'm in the mood, I'll just use it, but not too often. But the ink itself, absolutely fantastic. And remember, if you're getting the 4.5 ounce, that should come with it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review of the uh, Noodler's Nikita Red ink along with the free fountain pen. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the uh, comments section below. Let me know if you have this ink. Let me know if you have some inks you would recommend that you would like us to try out. I'll be more than happy. And as always, enjoy your studies.